ones that I've made in that video about the little, what are we going to call these? Little, some of these I actually want to use on Christmas presents. Oh, that'd be nice. So I'm going to use some of them on the tree, but I can always take them off if I need them for a present, can't I? Let's hang a few of these on the tree then and uh, see how they go. Some of these stars, that one just morphed into a not star, so we perhaps won't use that one. Um, oh, and there's a, let's put these in here. Everything gets a bit tangled up when you pin it onto the design board like that. So this little garland here has got very tangled up. But we'll take it because we can put that on the tree, put it around my neck. Um, and another, we'll have that star. Yeah, I guess what I can do is put them on the tree. Then if I want them to, for presents, I can just pick them off the tree and put them on for presents, can't I? Right, but this is going on the tree. That was always the intention for this garland. So let's do it. I've got quite a few more things that we've made that are going to go on the Christmas tree. Okay then, so... To start with then, I've got the lights on and a few little bits and pieces. I've started putting some of the presents around the bottom. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I like it a lot. So this then is my little willow stars. And I kind of, you know, I'm going to leave those for a second because I had a different idea about what I would do with those. So I'll leave those there just now. And then we'll, um, we'll hang some of these up. They kind of disappear into the greenery, don't they? But the little bit of red ribbon on them gives them a bit of a pop. Let's see. Let's see. I don't mind if there's not too much on the tree. I think sometimes they can be a bit over decorated, can't they? That's definitely not going to happen here. And what I've done here, I've tried to um, get a, a light behind the window biscuit so that it shines stained glass windowy. <laughs> That's the plan, anyway. Okay, let's put one of these willow stars on. There's a holly. These berries are, haven't shriveled up too much. They're nice. Oh, I like them. They look great. Yeah, it looks really nice. I bought that at the Alston Craft Fair the other day. It was made by my friend Jess. So I'm just going to pop him up there. He's Yorick Burson from uh, Dark Materials. That's who he is. Right, I'm just going to move these flowers over a little bit so that I can get in here. Okay, so one more here. And then I'll, I might hang a few more window biscuits up because I've only put three on. And as you know, I've got rather a lot. But I also might give some of those away because I'm going to be going down to see my nephew and his wife uh, in the next few days. And they have children who don't mind cracky biscuits. So um, I might take them to them. Now, my plan with this one was to sort of hang it up somehow or other up there. I'll see if I can manage to do that and then we'll see what it looks like. Because it'll just get lost in the tree, I think. I think it might look quite nice hanging up. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, and then I've got two more of those little light things, which I think are gorgeous. So I'm going to turn the lights off so that we can see what they look like in the dark. Well... And the other light's on through there, but that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Very nice. Very minimal, but then that's my style. Is it? <laughs> I was just thinking, <laughs> it's not my style, Prudence. <laughs> now, my main worry here is that there's a tree in the house and four cats. So what's that about, Mum, eh? <laughs> are you, what are you going to do with this tree? I have had trees before with cats. And they've never, they've always left it alone. So are you going to leave this one alone, Prue? Probably not. Right, well, I'm going to try and mess around and hang this one up then. And if I manage to do it, I'll show you when I've done it, okay? I've also been hanging up my Christmas cards, look. Uh, I've, I've, I've got this um, string up there with little colourful bits and pieces. So they've all started arriving. So I'm just going to tie that onto there. God, there's so much heat up here. We really should live um, in the top of the rooms, not in the bottom. Yeah. There's so much heat, it's boiling. <laughs> I'll tie it up and then I'll move the light. 
because the light was just sort of temporarily put up there to see if it was nice but mm. it could be doing perhaps do to be a bit lower yeah this platform's perfect for putting the christmas tree on uh it's this is a strange house in the way that it's been built over the years mm. but this um platform thing right so if i take that down and get rid of that yeah just and then maybe just hang the light if you could hang it just to the right of the prawn prawn what is that thing in front of you it's a bird oh. <laughs> I thought it was a prawn. To the right of the prawn. <laughs> yeah. To, which is the right? This. My here, right, your left. Is that there? There. Will it? Will it? Will you see it enough? Yeah, yeah, totally. Because it would be cool if it and was it, there, but I, I can't. And it'll it illuminate there. the prawn. <laughs> or I move the prawn. It's not a prawn. <laughs> how, so, how do the uh, little stars, willow stars, look like that? Yeah, very nice. Do they? I think always. Well, I think you could get some of your... Have you got any more porcelain stars anywhere? Yeah. You could get some of them involved. Oh, yes, I could get some of them involved now. And then you've definitely got... I mean, your house is permanently hung with Christmas <laughs> decorations. Like, literally, in this room, there are some. So why don't we just go and get them and just repurpose <laughs> My them? My house is permanently hung with Christmas <laughs> decorations. You are not wrong. That looks cute there because it balances with the snowflakes. Can you not just pin it up there? I have to stick it on with, with gaffer tape or something. We'll do that. Know. But I think this looks rather well, don't you? I think it looks great. And look, I've got the little angel that I got from the... She um, needs to go around the top. ...Christmas market. Can she not go around there? Does she, can you yeah. see her there? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, I much better. To, you couldn't see her before. Do I need to cut this down a little? No. Is she all right Twist there? it slightly, so f f that's it. And Is then right face there? her to me, twist around. Perfect. Is that how she's supposed to look? Yeah, it looks great. Because I like her, I think she's cute. I do. All right, so I, I'll just stand here for the rest of Christmas then. Perfect. Because this light's got to be next to the prawn. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got two more. How is it a bird? It's a bird. I really like it. It's definitely a bird. <laughs> it's now a prawn. It is. That's all you can see now, right? That's all I can see. Okay. Okay, so um, all right then. So we've got um, some more bits and pieces that I can find. Mm -hmm. What about that, that star on the door? Oh, I've got, got a lot of that stuff. I've got so many bits and pieces scattered about. The place. Why don't we do a little recce then? Yeah, we'll find some. Perfect. But can I let go of this now? Yeah, I think you should. I'm just going to stand here all all Christmas otherwise. <laughs> I mean, do you want me to get you some gaffer tape? How crazy would this be if it was actually on here? Uh, that wouldn't work. It doesn't, does it? <laughs> no. It's a bit too big. Actually, I think it looks because it because it ba if you put it there, it balances. It balances yeah. It's just, I can't get it, I can put it there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> there. Yeah. All right, I'll do that then. Spot on. Just move the prawn slightly. Hang on. Prawn is integral to the stars because I just tied them onto this, onto there. Yeah. And, of course, you know, symbolically very um, festive and Christian, isn't it? What is? The prawn. A prawn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jesus did did have prawns. I think Mary and Joseph's first meal was prawns, wasn't it? I believe so. I believe so. <laughs> prawn linguine. <laughs> prawn linguine. So that's what one of the shepherds brought, wasn't it? <laughs> shaking the camera <laughs> right i've got two more of these beautiful star shaped things excellent which need batteries in and i've probably got loads more presents to put under the tree all right okay lovely oh, christmas oh i like the garland with the stars that looks good mm. yeah it is yeah, a while ago I was thinking of making another curtain on the other side. That would look cool now, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. But I never got round to doing that because then 
This is doubles up as a spare bed if anybody comes to stay. There's a mattress upstairs for it. Mm. And that would mean that they could create their own little bed space in there. And that was the plan for doing that, but I haven't. Right, I think hanging some porcelain stars on there now. Oh, I have some. Excellent. Oh, they look nice in that glass. They do, look nice. well. they do look nice. Well, maybe I should just... No, no, put them on. I'll, I'll hang some up. Uh, some of them may already have string on. Has that one got a string on? Yes, it has. There you go. Look, let's see. Uh, porcelain star. We'll hang it uh, there. Oh, this is more fun than it should be, isn't it? <laughs> I like that Prudence is so interested. Yeah, well, this is the problem. You hang dangly things on a tree with cats in the house. What's going on, Prue? What is going on? <laughs> have you taken leave of your senses, Kate? Yes, I have. <laughs> right, okay, so that one could go there. We'll just we'll see what happens when I get up in the morning. See what's left on here, shall we? Shall yeah. we see what's left on here? <laughs> hey? Yes. Okay, I'll put some more string on these because there's a few there that we can hang up. And then we'll get we'll carry on. Alright. Look, this is a Christmas present with my Christmas wrapping paper. It looks great. I'm I'm really pleased with it. I really like it. It's okay, doesn't it? Yeah. Good colour. And I wonder who these can be for. Mm. Mm. <laughs> right. Okay, let's crack on. Alright. So there is the Christmas tree now it's gone dark. And this little sparkly light up next to the prawn there I've got two more of those so I'll find some batteries and I'll put the batteries in there and that then is what Christmas at the last homely house is going to look like there's a few more bits of presents to wrap up and put under the tree but for now that's it and I think it looks gorgeous so I'm going to put my feet up and watch that instead of the telly do you think it will be there in the morning when I come down? All the cats have destroyed it. Hmm, let's see. See you next time.